Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. It's Jen, the Diamond Painting Gamer here. And as promised, here are my seasonal finishes. Um, now I've changed location a little bit for this video, just to try it out. Um, I'm down in the dining room. Uh, I have realized though, as I've started talking, it's quite echoey, but I'm here now, so we'll carry on with it. But I might rethink doing things down here again. Um, the reason it's quite echoey, it's a pretty big room actually, and um, there's no carpet in it. It's uh, all hardwood floors. So, so yeah, there's a lot of echoing going on. <laughs> um, yeah, I might, I might change it up. But we'll carry on with this video today and we'll, we'll see what it sounds like when it comes out the other end. Okay, so yes, um, as I was saying, these are going to be my seasonal finishes and let's start looking at them because um, you don't want to be looking at an uh, empty table. So this is the first one. Now, I can't remember entirely where I got some of these from. Um, so what I'll do is um, once I've finished and I've, I'll, I'll work out where everything's from, I'll link everything down below. Um, but if I don't mention a company, it's just because basically I've forgotten where it's from. Now, I've talked about this before, and my reason of talk about talking about it was um, this has got about 70 diamonds on it. In terms of value for money for diamonding, I mean, you can see, look, look up here, there's very little. <laughs> In terms of value for money for um, diamond painting, it's uh, not value for money. However, um, it's a little light and uh, the light itself, you know, when it's lit up, looks lovely. Um, I'll just go and switch my overhead light off and you can have a look at this. So here you go in the dark. It does look really nice as um, an ornament, you know, as a, as a light ornament. Um, you can change the colors um, by pressing this little button here. Then you can get it to flash as well. Oh, there we go, that's it flashing. Oh, I'll stop that just in case that's uh, bothering anybody. Oops, we've gone dark. There we go, it's back on again. So yeah, I mean, in, in terms of a decoration, it's fine. But in terms of a diamond painting product, no, um, not worth the money. <laughs> so, light back on and we'll get this out of the way and we'll switch it off. There it goes and we'll go on to the next thing. Um, now, this, I do remember where I got it from. This came from Easy Whim. And it is a, a, a wine bottle um, bag, or a bottle bag. And it's got Santa on it. And this didn't take very long to make up at all. Uh, lots of drills left over. Uh, good quality gems. Some of these nice round gold domes which seem to be very popular at the moment. But yes, this is uh, this is going to have a Christmas present in it, I think. Um, I was thinking of giving it to my mum to do, but I got, <laughs> I started diamond painting things and then I just went on a roll and then I was halfway through doing this before I realised that, oh, I was going to give that to my mum. Anyway, um, <laughs> she can get it with a bottle of wine in it. I think she'll appreciate that a bit more. So, yeah. So that's my um, Santa on a wine bag, bottle bag. Okay, next we have our Christmas stocking. Again, I think this came from Easy Whim and it's got a lovely candle on it, all diamond painted. 
Uh, it's really good. None of the glue is actually extended over onto the foliage, which isn't diamond painted. It's just all on the the candle and the bow and corker of a big gem there in the centre of the bow to set it off. But yes, I've got a couple of other stockings a little bit like this up for decoration already and uh, this is going to dry them. And uh, yes, I, I really like this. Um, what I haven't done and what I might do actually is because I intend on using this year in, year out, is I'll just seal that, I think, um, it's just to avoid any diamonds popping off when it's being stored. But to be fair, you know, it's, it's clear red and yellow diamonds hundreds of them. The only thing I would miss if it popped off would be this big one, but, but yeah. So, love that stocking. Very nice. Okay, next. So again, this came in my Christmas Easy Win box and it is a plaque and it came with a nice chain to hang it up and it's a snowman family and I don't know if they're out giving gifts or carol singing or, or what have you but yeah so that's our snowman family it's very nice it's not double sided it's just um, drilled on one side but yeah I like that uh, as I said I think I did um, this and the wine bag and the stocking all in one day uh, or one evening. Um, it's like I said when I was in the wine bag, I just got started and I just I just didn't stop essentially. But yes, this is very pretty, very nice. It's a lovely sparkly Christmas decoration. That's what it says. Now, I think that was all the easy win of the canvas items. So these next two, I'm not entirely sure what um, uh, company I got them from, but it would be one of the budget friendly sites. So first of all, we've got this um, uh, Merry Christmas Santa plaque. And when I bought this originally, I thought that it was going to be mostly uh, crystal rhinestones. But actually, as you can see, there are very few crystal rhinestones. It's mostly uh, regular drills. And uh, some lovely special shapes. Okay, if you hear some rustling going on in the background, that's um, the cat. She's found a bag and she's playing with it. Okay, so that's... Um, that's uh, Santa and his uh, on his Christmas wreath, and uh, yeah, I like this one too. I'm being very positive today. Um, that's going to change in a few minutes. <laughs> okay, final of the canvas item. Oops, is um, this Christmas tree uh, decoration? Uh, it's single sided. I know a lot of these, or not a lot of these, but I know you can get some of them double-sided. Um, but this one's single-sided. So I was intending on putting this onto my, onto my Christmas table, but I think because it's single-sided, it will we'll pop it on the mantelpiece instead. I mean, when it's up there, nobody's going to be seeing the back of it. So that won't matter. Um, I've used the thread that came with it to dangle the bobble, if you like. Um... I might change that out because I don't really like it very much, but I'll need to see what I've got in the house. Um, the base, the way this is attached onto the base was a little bit flimsy. It seemed to come out as I was moving it before, but it's kind of stuck in there now. Oh, no, there we go, it's come out. Um, I'm debating on whether fixing that in a little bit more rigidly, but if it's going to be on a mantelpiece, nobody's going to be moving it. Um, and uh, yeah, I want to keep it for multiple years, so like I want to lay it flat, so I don't want to sort of like fix that in there so that I can't take it out the base. So I might just leave it as it is. There we go. But it's got those beautiful peacock uh, gems on there. Well, I think they're like peacock gems, you know, the ones that look like uh, peacock feathers. Uh, this took actually quite a long time to do. 
uh, lots of green. You've got to, um, yeah, you've got to like green for this. <laughs> um, yeah, a lot of green. Anyway, so that's my, um, let's break it down a bit. That's my uh, Christmas tree uh, decoration. So that's the last of the off the canvas items. Um, everything else now are uh, diamond painting. And we've got a mixture of uh, regular diamond painting and the kind of bubble round diamond painting. Now some of these you'll probably see on other channels. Excuse me, I'm going to have a drink of coffee. And um, because they've been very, very popular this year. That's it. Um, so first of all, we've got Santa here with what looks like a magic fairy wand. <laughs> and uh, yes, now this is going to be the one and only time I'm going to talk about guide circles, but this will apply to all bubble round, all of the bubble round pictures that I'm going to show you. So I'm going to bring this up close. Now you can see here that the gems, in particular the black gems, don't seem to cover up um, the guide circles. I've done as best as I can without spending hours and hours and hours over it. I mean, it's supposed to be a fun project. Um, the thing is, you know, when these are up on the wall, because uh, they will be putting them up on the wall. I'll, I'll usually put like all my fun Christmas diamond paintings up on the wall somewhere for decoration. Um, at Christmas time. Um, yeah, when it's up on the wall, you're not going to see it. You're not going to notice that. So, so yeah. Um, that's um, bubble round number one. And it is uh, Santa uh, having an existential crisis because he thinks he's a fairy. Um, yeah, with his magic fairy wand. <laughs> Sorry, more coffee. <laughs> right. Uh, next one, similar to Santa. Again, I've seen a few people with this one. Uh, completed and uh, uncompleted. And that's that. This, this little elf sock. Um, stuff full of presents and candy with holly on the top. So, um, I must say, actually, in their defence, and you, the, you know, it, you can actually really pick this up on camera, particularly when I move it around. But even though you've got these guide circles showing through, they are incredibly sparkly. These pictures, um, this one and Santa, um, the outline. It's done in those um, crystal, clear crystal drills, uh, sorry, clear crystal rhinestones with the AB coating on it. And I think it really makes it stand out, particularly against this black, black, black background. I love the way they've got this matte black, try saying that after a few pints, <laughs> the matte black background. And then you've got the, the crystals, um, forming the, like the main subject of the picture. It really makes it, you know, I hate to say it because everybody uses this phrase, but it does. It really makes it pop off the canvas. And you, but it, you, you can, it's, it really stands out. The contrast is amazing. So yeah, that's my L sock. So again, here's another picture that some people might have seen before. Um, I know I've, I've seen a few people working on it. And that's uh, old Frosty the Snowman here. And uh, again, he's he's a 30 by 40. Oh, those other two, by the way, were uh, 30 by 30s, but they were a bit smaller. They were more kind of um, 25 by 25. Frosty here is um, 30 by 40, um, 25 by 35, really. And again, he's another bubble round. This time it's kind of gone the opposite way. So the background is crystal, as is his scarf and um, the candy cane in the birdhouse. But the snowman himself is uh, matte and, as is, and so is his hat. So regular drills for the snowman and the hat 
and um, crystals for the background and all the other details. I do love the way the snow rests on his hat up here. I think that's great. And I uh, like the little bird. Um, the bird actually seemed to be more obvious when, before it was drilled than um, after it was drilled. Or maybe not. But that's a, it's a gorgeous little bird. It's a blue tit um, with the blue back and head and the yellow belly. Very common around here uh, in the gardens in the UK. So yeah, so that's uh, that's old Frosty the Snowman with his candy cane. He's a very snazzy looking scarf to be right back. I like a scarf like that, nice and sparkly. And his uh, gorgeous little birdhouse. And you know, even the, the you know the way that they've done the snow here on the birdhouse, it's a. Uh, it's very clever, very clever. I like it. So that's um, so that's our snowman. Now the next two are um, quilling pictures. So here's the first one. Um, I thought I'd give these a go. And again, again, they are, are all very popular. Um, this one and the other one, I really like the designs on because they reminded me of um, greetings cards. Just the way that you've got like um, the frame and then you've got this kind of banner or strip which is offset down the side with your image next to it. Um, I used to do a lot of um, card making, paper crafting and um, yeah, uh, you know, there's a lot of card designs, a lot of designs that I made in cards that um, that were quite similar to this, so that kind of evoked those memories. Now, this took longer than I thought. Um, I didn't think these quilling pictures were going to take, uh, I mean, they didn't take very long, to be fair, but they did take longer than I thought. Um, all these strands, um, they, they took quite a while to do. But um, I don't think I'll do any more quilling pictures. I, you know, I, I chose these because they're seasonal and I want to put them up. Um, but um, yeah, I'm not going to be collecting quilling pictures. <laughs> um, they're, they're nice for a bit of fun, but but no, no, I'm not going to be I'm not going to be doing loads of them. Um, if any of them take my fancy, I, I might pick them up. But. Um, I mean, I quite like sunflowers. If I saw some with sunflowers, I think I might have seen some. I think I might get them. <clears throat> Excuse me. And here's the second quilling picture. Again, I'm not too sure what company these came from. I will link them all down below. I don't want to say on camera, just in case I get it wrong. Um, but it, they are one of the, all these things, the uh, quilling pictures, the bubble rounds. Um, and the last couple of um, of the canvas items, they came from um, budget-friendly sites. So this is my other one. Uh, I really like this one as well. Um, again, similar reason. It's all, um, you know, it reminds me of like a, the front of a greetings card. And you seem to have a, a theme though with candles and poinsettias, <laughs> which the previous one was, sort of candles and poinsettias. Again, took longer than I expected with all these uh, tendrils and swirls that are going around there. But yeah, that's uh, my quilling. Right, final two pictures. And these are full drill. Uh, we'll start off with um, the more positive one first. And that is this... Uh, I was wondering what kind of bird it was at first, but I finally settled on a robin. And I think this wee guy ate all the pies, ate all the mince pies, because he's going to be a bit chunky. But I think um, I think we might just see he's fluffed up to keep himself warm in the cold because it's snowing. So this is an easy whim canvas. It's 30 by 40. And it's true to size, it was on poured, it was not on poured glue at all, gentle, what you say. It's on double sided adhesive. And there was, I think, 35 colours. So, yep, yeah, um, 
I love this little Robin, this little guy. He came in my Easy Pin box. Oops, let's bring him up. I do like the Easy Pin rounds. Um, I don't think I would go on anything bigger than a 30 by a 40, basically because it's double-sided adhesive. Um, I, I'm not too bothered about double-sided adhesive, but uh, yeah, it's not my favourite and it's not quite so manageable and I've got, not got a huge amount of room. I don't think there's any way I would try a big double-sided adhesive, you know, like some of the ones from um, Uniquely Yours Down Under or Diamond Painting Deutschland. Um, essentially, basically, because I don't have the room, I don't have the space for it. Um, but like a 30 by 40 is fine, uh, maybe even a 40 by 50, certainly no bigger than a 40 by 50. But I like this little chap, um, he looks really, I mean, cl close up, he, he's quite heavily pixelated, particularly around this area. But um, from this distance, through the, through the camera, he looks uh, he looks quite cheery and he's as cute as a button. He's all gift wrapped up for Christmas with these holly berries. Although I think the holly's sort of lost its leaves. It's just got berries in. Actually, I, it may not be holly berries. It may be something like rowan. Ro uh, rowan, rowan berries rather than holly because it is kind of like, it looks like a single leaf there. So there may be rowan berries uh, rather than holly. So yeah, that's my little Robin. And last but not least, we have um, oops, an upside down picture, but we have this Christmas fireside scene. Now, when I unboxed this, I did see that it was going to look a hot mess, or I did think it was going to look a hot mess because it's so heavily pixelated. Actually, when it's drilled, it does look a lot better and also uh, does look better from a distance. Um, so um, so even close up now, once it's been drilled, I can make out the teddy bear there. Um, oops, it's all curled up at the end. Uh, I can make out the teddy bear there. I can make out the teddy under the tree. And, I, and I, I'm not, I can promise you, I'm not looking at the camera now. I'm actually looking at it directly. I can make the teddy out under the tree a clock on the wall and something that I never noticed before but I do notice uh, looking at it later is that this I don't know if you can make it out this is a deer on the other side of the window yeah I, I didn't see that at all when I first unboxed it before the drills went down and it's only standing back and looking at it now that I can see that that's a deer I can sort of make out the presents and the baubles on the tree um, there's a, a Christmas wreath over the fireplace there as well. Um, through, I mean, obviously you're seeing it through the camera lens. Through the camera, it looks a lot, lot better than it does in real life. Um, even if I was to stand back six feet, uh, I don't think it would look as good as it does on the camera there. Uh, uh, this is definitely a picture. I mean, it's, it's, it's a beautiful image. I do like the big tree. It's very cosy, comfy cosy. You can imagine yourself sitting in a chair, drinking a hot cup of a cup of hot chocolate, fire roaring, Christmas tree, um, with your family around you. But um, this could do with being essentially twice the size. It's a thirty by forty, but it could really do with being um, a sixty by eighty to give it its you know full justice. Okay, so anyway, that's my finishes for um, uh, the, my seasonal finishes. I thought it might be nicer to sort of like do them all in, in one video rather than do some in my November finishes and some in my December finishes. Particularly, um, you know, when January comes round, you know, people might not be wanting to look at pictures of uh, holiday images. <laughs> Um, because, you know, I know for a fact, me myself, I would get a little bit fed up with uh, looking at pictures of Santa come January. So, um, thank you very, very much for watching. Hopefully this sounds not being too bad. We'll see what it looks like when I start editing and uh, put, putting this together. Um, but, yeah, um, 
I don't know whether the camera's picking this up or whether the, the bike's picking this up, but my cat, one well, of my cats is sitting behind me and she's purring away like mad and it's really loud. So if you can hear the cat purring, if you've been wondering what the noise is, <laughs> so that's my cat purring. <laughs> Anyway, um, thank you very, very much uh, for watching. If you've liked the video, um, please hit the thumbs up button down below. And uh, if you'd like to see more from me, um, you know, please, I'd love you to subscribe. Um, I had set myself a target of getting um, 50 subscribers by Christmas. Um, and hello to all the new subscribers that have joined. And I've actually uh, beaten my target and we're only on the... 15th? Yeah, 15th of um, December and um, I'm now sitting at 55 and uh, you know, thank you, thank you, thank you to each and every one of you for, for taking the time to subscribe to my channel and taking the time to watch the videos. It, it does mean a lot. Um, yeah, no, nobody in my house, I mean, they indulge my diamond painting, they indulge my, my, my hobbies, you know, but they don't get it. <laughs> But it's nice to chat to people that get it. So, um, yeah, thank you very, very much for watching. And I'll see you all again in my next video. Okay? Cheerio, guys. <laughs>